The flood waters are still high in Pasco County, but they are starting to recede just a little bit. The cleanup process, though, also underway, and that is raising some health concerns tonight. Eight on your side is breaking down a new warning from health officials, and Jeff Patterson joins us with the story. Hey, good evening, Keith. The floodwaters actually have gone down throughout much of Pasco County. Obviously not here in Elfers, though. We did have some rain in this area today, and we noticed that the water came up here just a bit. But the health department is warning there is danger here. Carrie Jofield and her son were out in the heat today shoveling sandbags. Her home in Holiday is still surrounded by water. At this point, trying to you know, get the water out and get in the sandbags to prevent it from happening again. For some, it's too late for sandbags. <laughs> stressful, very stressful. <laughs> Kelly Chavez lives in Elfers, and she's been through this before. For her, it's just part of life on the river. Part of that life is cleaning up after the flood. Just bleach and everything, bleach. And you'll have that muddy smell around here probably for a good week. The Department of Health in Pasco County is warning people to stay out of the flood water to avoid infection and contamination. They're also giving advice to people on private well systems. We're preaching the three B's, bleach it, bottle it, or um, boil it. Uh, bleach the water, uh, three, eight drops of chlorine to a gallon of water, uh, boil the water for a minute, or drink bottled water if you suspect the contamination of the water is there. Another concern in Pasco County is septic systems. The health department advises this is not the time to pump out your tanks. If the septic tank is underwater, pumping it is just pumping more water in, and they have the potential for the septic systems to collapse. And just in case you're wondering, I am wearing waders, and I'm going to clean these down thoroughly tonight with soap and water after I get out of here. I make sure that I don't have any open wounds before I step into something like this, and we really do look out for snakes, fire ants, and alligators. Uh, and hopefully that addresses all of the kind concerns that I've seen lately on Facebook and Twitter about me standing in water, Keith. What, you're wearing waders? What? <laughs> All right, Jeff Patterson. Why, yes, I am. <laughs> Playing it safe for us, as always. Thank you, Jeff.